Hello beautiful family in Jesus Christ, Stephen here, the 7th of March in the year 2023. Just pray over this, I just pray Heavenly Father that you would bless me, you bless my brethren who are watching, may this be a type of fellowship in the name of Jesus. Lord may you be gracious and compassionate, pour out your loving forgivenesses, tender loving kindnesses, and mercies upon us all heal us strengthen our hearts lord help us to keep watch because you are about to come i just pray everybody go away blessed and encouraged in jesus name and your word your word that i'm just going to read lord may it, may it be magnified it is magnified above all your name lord god in jesus mighty name Amen. So I've come on here really to ask you for extra prayers. <clears throat> my my health isn't particularly that good. Well, it isn't. <laughs> it just isn't good. I keep praying to the Lord about it. I'm prepared to go tomorrow and um, preaching, even though I don't feel too well. It's my feet, my back. Um, I am trying to eat well, I'm trying to look after myself. I've just soaked my feet in this this Epsom salts and it's helped quite a bit but I've got like arthritis and Raynaud syndrome so it hurts my feet so my feet are hurt when it, every time it gets cold I suffer more so <laughs> anyway I'm suffering maybe you guys are as well um the spiritual warfare comes and goes off the charts you know I'm tired, but I've said to the Lord, look, here I am. If you will, but just heal me and strengthen me, then send me and I will go. So we are going tomorrow. Um, Steve's going to ring me in a minute just to confirm what time we're meeting tomorrow at York and then we're going straight to Halifax to preach the gospel. Have you ever picked up the Bible, just opened it up and there's something that you read and it just speaks to you uh, lots. Well, that's what I did when I picked this Bible. The little, the, these are the little Bibles we give out, and I've, I've got one for myself and just carry it around with me. <clears throat> and it says in Psalm 97, The Lord reigneth, the Lord reigns. Let the earth rejoice, let the multitude of isles be glad thereof. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and judgment are the habitation of his throne. A fire goeth before him and burneth up his enemies round about. His lightnings enlightened the world. The earth saw and trembled. The hills melted like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens declare his righteousness, and all the people see his glory. Confounded be all they that serve graven images, that boast themselves of idols. Worship him, all ye gods. Zion heard and was glad, and the daughters of Judah rejoiced because of thy judgments, O Lord. For thou, Lord, art high above all the earth. Thou art exalted far above all gods. <clears throat> Ye that love the Lord, hate evil. He preserveth the soul of his saints. He preserves the souls of his saints. He delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous, and gladness for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, ye righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. It's just a short psalm, and I'll, t I'll be quite honest with you, I haven't had time today to read his word at all. I've just quoted some 
scripture, as you know, I can quote Psalms. I've been praying and, um, you know, I've done those couple of videos for you and I've been trying to get things together for tomorrow. There's quite a lot that goes into it, really. Every little thing I've got to think about in case I'm stranded, in case, uh, you know, fluid, uh, water, drinks, and uh, microphones, Bibles, gospel tracks, first aid kit, um, something to cover the speaker in case it rains, and so much more. <laughs> you know, I've got to think of every little thing, and then um, it just takes quite some time to do. So anyway, I love you all, family. Just a short video. Um, please, please pray for me and Stephen. <clears throat> I'm just going to gargle some more. Today, with the money that you sent, I bought some, some Manuka honey, quite a strong Manuka honey. So I'm going to use that. And I've got some in a container to take with me, mixed with salt in case my throat starts to go and I gar gargle with it. I did it at Bradford, off camera, obviously. I gargled with it and then spat it, spat it on the, on the, on the floor. Not where people are standing, obviously, but <clears throat> because um, I, think I, I think I shouted too loud last time. And Sister Catherine has been showing me how to, how to use my voice better so I don't damage the vocal cords. Anyway, please pray for me, guys. Um, I'm struggling with my health, but I am prepared to do this and um, because this is the last hour. I feel like we're going to go up any second. God has to judge this wicked world. And in order to do that, he must take his saints out of this world first. So I love you all. You'll see me at the train station tomorrow. Unless we're raptured tonight. <laughs> I'd, I'd rather we were raptured. <laughs> but I'm still prepared to go and preach. To, because God loves those people. He loves them. And he doesn't want them to perish. <clears throat> so all we're doing is delivering that message. But I want us to do it graciously. Lovingly. I don't want to take it offence. Some of you might might remember when some guy slapped me hard on the back of the head. I didn't react at first, but then I did, and I, stupidly, because I'd been preaching three days on on the trot, and and I'd not got much sleep either. <clears throat> and uh, just, I went for that guy, and that's when some mysterious man just appeared out of nowhere, standing there he was, and he just stopped the pair of us and he commanded that man to go three times. Commanded him. It was a command. The last time he said it was like, command, go, just go away, like this. And he did. He came up and he shook my hand and he shook Loretta's hand as we were putting away the equipment. We thought he was behind us, just stood there with us still, because it was seconds. Looked around and he'd gone. And Loretta ran up all the streets roundabout, and he was nowhere to be found. And I think that man came just at the right time, um, before something, one of either one of me and this guy were going to hurt each other, you know? Because I mean, a slap on the back of the head is it, it just not annoyed me because I was I was uh, very very tired. I don't want to react like that ever again, you know. Don't want to react like that. Obviously, I'll try to defend myself and put my arms up if somebody hurt, someone wants to hurt me, but I, I don't want to react like that. I'll, in future, I need to say, God bless you. Uh, I still love you. Jesus loves you even more. You know, that's the, that's the correct approach. So, yeah, I'm learning. I'm learning all the time. I've been doing this for it's about two years now two years so I'm just learning every time I go out um, you know learning more if we stay if we stay humble and teachable and not proud and that you know think that we know it all we can learn more from each other whether they're younger or older doesn't matter 
because we're all one body in Jesus Christ. My gosh, guys, do you know, we're all members of one another. We all make up the temple of God. And just look how many times it tells us to love one another and love your enemies and love, love, love is the fulfilling of the law and the prophets. Love, Jesus said, and perfect love casts out all fear. So that's what I need when I go on his, the streets is his perfect love. Because some of you might think oh, you're very brave, Stephen. But if it wasn't for the Lord, I wouldn't be able to do it. It's as simple as that. That's why I'm asking you for prayer. Because I'm only a man. And it's only by, by his grace and his power that I can do and Stephen can do what we do. And we're just like, I feel like at the moment we are snatching people from the flames onto the ark. As a great big, as the sea is about to rise and wash away everyone. Well, that's just figurative. That's just an analogy, if you like, but snatching people onto the ark of salvation quickly in these final moments of the end. My gosh, who would have ever thought that me and you guys would be live at the end of the world? <laughs> Here we are, the end of the world, and we're about to go home. I wait, but in the meantime, just got to persevere, and be patient, because he that is coming will come. He will come like a thief in the night. I hope he finds me watching and and um, you know, not doing something that displeases him. And well, even if we found doing something wrong, which is, is very likely with many of us. Because none of us is perfect. We're still going up in the rapture. We'll still be going up in the rapture. Right, Stephen's ringing me. I've got to go. I love you, family. God bless.